Hi, Daniel. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for giving some time to us. I was just wondering, you've been making records, of, well, not me making records, but you've been making music since you were 11. Yeah. Uh, do you have everything still vividly in your mind, or is it start things to get blurry when you look back? Uh, <laughs> last week is blurry. It's, um, but isn't that how it is with memory? I mean, some parts, of course, that you know occurred in the beginning of the career uh, when I was 11 seems like it was yesterday. I mean, some of those key moments seem very, very close in time, uh, while other parts seem like it was an, et an eternity, an eternity ago, and lots of it is just gone, of course. So I, I think everyone recognizes that feeling with their own lives. Yeah, because how, is, is that maybe for you uh, as a musician, yeah, is it a sort of like, if you do sometimes listen back to old recordings, does it yeah. feel like a diary sometimes, opening up a diary again? Uh, it's different. Sometimes, it, it, regardless of it being like music or something I've been writing or whatever, uh, sometimes I look back at it and I'm like, I did this? You know, because you can't remember the exact sort of time when you actually made it. It seems like someone else, it's, it's like, well, that Daniel made this. That was, whew. It was pretty good, you know. And other times you listen back to, to stuff and you go like, ah, oh, I would have done that so differently today. Um, but so I, I, I guess it is sort of a diary because it's sometimes even like times you have forgotten, the music is there to remind you of, of those times. Is there a certain yeah, period maybe uh, in, in, your, yeah, in your discography that you think, ah, oh, that's actually quite good, that you're sort of proud of still now? Uh... Uh, I, I think I like all of it. I mean, it's not that I'm shunning away from anything that, that I've done, because I, I, most of the stuff, I mean, I, I throw away like 99% of the stuff I write. It never ever gets into any sort of recording or anything. The stuff I keep, I, I can pretty much stand behind, I think, for a very long period of time. Not that I would feel that it's representative of who I am today, musically or personally, but um, I still have the, the, the highest respect for, for that Daniel, sort of, and, and the music that he made and the, what, you know, that he made together with the other guys or whatever. The Road Salt 1 and 2 are the most recent ones. Yeah. You're still maybe in the middle of, of, of touring the, the record, at least the, yeah. the second one. What do you think you've, you've done on, on these records, uh, or the last one that you maybe didn't, yeah, what did it open for you? What did it do for you? Um, that record now? I, I really wanted to get back to, uh, to the, the, the raw, intimate nakedness of, of music production. Because um, I, f I feel that if the 50s and, and parts of the 60s were eras where the, the, the bad sound was sort of coming in the way of music, I think that the 80s and the 90s and, and, and to a certain extent, the zeros have been times where the, the good sound has come in the way of, of the music. So I want to try to find that, find that balance. And I think that's what, what we haven't done previously. I mean, but, but on the other hand, for every album that we've done, we found a certain premise or a point of departure that is pretty unique for that album. So I, I don't think that we've done anything, we've done that specifically different for this album, but we've always done something different for each album. Yeah, that maybe that sound that you just described, yeah. was that a trap or maybe a silent trap that you tra that you stepped into at some point a little bit? When did you became aware of this? Uh, I think already for Skarsik, um, I was, I mean, my sound ideal had changed and shifted a lot into this, but since, Skarsik is, I mean, the nature of the Skarsik album is not really allowing this sound to be taken all the way. Uh, I decided when making Skarsik that, that the next album is going to be totally uncompromising when it comes to the sound. Uh, and I guess I wanted to make music and lyrics that would go in style with this sort of more earthy and um, intimate sound. Um, so I, I guess somewhere along that line, somewhere, you know, during mm -hmm. and before Scarsic probably, the, the idea was already born. But it's, I mean, every album that you make, I think, I hope this goes for everyone, every album that you make is part action and part reaction. 
And I think the reaction part of the Road Salt albums is, you know, simply an allergy that I've developed during the years for the trends in, in modern modern production, really. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the sampled clicky bass drums and the uh, the rectifier wall guitars, and um, it's like everything is airbrushed into impressiveness to the point where I can't find the music anymore. Mm -hmm. I, I can't I can't find the musicians in the music. It's like it's become technicians' music, and I want I want to take that back.